Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be making more cold process soap for my July soap release. And we are using the fragrance oil Raspberry Lemonade by Nature's Garden. Um, I used this fragrance oil in my May soap release and the soap sold out, I called it Raspberry Lemonade. For July, I think I'm gonna change the name to Pink Lemonade, still the same fragrance. And uh, I also did change up the design and the recipe a little bit. So we are using Tessa Silk Fiber today. And this is just a gorgeous product that's gonna add a nice, silky, soft uh, feel to your soap. And this is what it looks like, it's just a beautiful product. Um, I got this from Brambleberry and it is cruelty free. And you just take a little pinch off and you put it in your hot lye water and that's how it dissolves. Um, in this case, I've already done that. So it's already dissolved into my lye water. And we're also using uh, cranberry butter. Now cranberry butter has a nice pink hue to it because of course it's got ground up little pieces of cranberry all through it. And it's got um, jojoba oil and shea and palm. It's just a nice um, hard butter to add to your soap but it's got a lot, a lot of good uh, properties to it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put my goggles and my gloves on and we'll be right back. Okay, today we are using olive oil, castor oil, palm oil, coconut oil, cranberry butter, and sweet almond oil. If you would like the full recipe, you can go ahead and check it out on my Patreon campaign. So you can see the cranberry butter is kind of dissolved down, kind of settled down at the bottom, the little cranberry pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little blend. Make sure it's all incorporated. And then I'm gonna slowly pour my lye water solution um, with my Tessa Silk directly into the oils. blend this to emulsification. So right when the oils um, combine with the lye and the water. All right, that's about it. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but the cranberry butter leaves a nice little speckled look to the soap. See those little speckles of cranberries? It's cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and split off this batch. Um, this design is a little bit intricate and it took me a long time to kind of prepare. So I'm gonna take you through my process here. I'm gonna show you everything I've done to prepare for this design. So I'm just gonna split off um, about 16 ounces of soap. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a bit more, 20 ounces. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some titanium dioxide in this half, and then this half is gonna be pink. All right, so this little container is gonna have the um, titanium dioxide, and for my pinks, I'm gonna be using um, Pink Vibrance Mica by Nurture Soap and also Rose Pink. So, because I, I want to try to brighten it up a little bit as well. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of the pink vibrance, but I'm also going to do a little bit. You can see that one's a nice bright kind of, this will mute, there's only a little bit left, about half a teaspoon. This um, pink will mute a little bit in the soap, so I just want to make sure we're getting it nice and pigmented. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my fragrance oil. Now, some of this we are gonna be reserving for piping. So after I get this all mixed up, I'm actually going to save some of the pink for the piping. 
has such a true pink lemonade fragrance. Okay, then we're just gonna use the stick blender and make sure this is all incorporated. blend that up just a little bit more. I'm going to be pouring up a little bit here. I always end up putting too much in for my piping. Pour some back. Yeah, that should do. Okay, let's set that aside. Now for the um, white portion of this soap, I have shredded up some extra uh, yellow glycerin soap that I had hanging around from another project. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add it directly to the white. And then when you cut the soap, it should look like a little bit of yellow confetti or speckled, um, along with some of those pink speckles will, will show through as well. Okay, I actually think I want this just a bit thicker. And I'm gonna get my little yellow shreds and I'm gonna put them just right inside the white. We're gonna hand mix it. So you can't see them now, but you will, they will be revealed in the cut of the soap. Okay. So I'm actually going to pour all the pink in first. that all in there. That pink came up really nice. It's a good color. Okay. All right, now um, I did this for my lemon sugar soap and I really did like the way that it turned out. So I think I'm gonna try to do the same kind of thing here I want the white to be on top, um, more on top than swirled in because I'm gonna be putting some of that piping on there, um, the pink piping, um, but it doesn't have to be a perfect, you know, layer. It can, it can sink a little bit down into the pink. Um, that's okay too. So some of that white will drop down in there, which that'll look cute. 
just because it won't look like an even, you know, layer. Um, it kind of adds a nice little uh, adds interest to the soap, I should say. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of spread that out. And all I'm going to do is just tamp this down. And then we need to wait for that piping to be ready. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I might actually take a chopstick and just do a quick little figure eight. Just because some of that pink that is showing through a little bit, we could make a nice little swirl on the top. Okay. I'm gonna take my rubbing alcohol, spritz it down. And then I'll bring you back when we're ready to go ahead and pipe the top of this soap. Okay, everybody, we're back to go ahead and pipe the top of this soap. Um, the raspberry lemonade fragrance oil is really slow to trace, so this piping took a long time to set up, but it would be a great one to use for sw uh, swirl designs because it does not set up quickly. So we're just using this really big um, piping tip here and I'm just going to put dollops down the soap That I made into the frame. They're super cute. Uh, they're little tiny. Well, they're not tiny. I actually used that same orange mold, the orange slice mold that I used in the last video. Um, and then I cut them into fourths. And then I sprayed them down with um, rubbing alcohol and then I just coated the edges with some Twinkling Lights glitter. So that's what we're using to put in to the sides of the piping. There we go. And then I actually cut up some paper straws as well. So I'm gonna be putting that in here on the other side. I'm wondering if I can bring you in at a different angle so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, there you have it, everyone. That's the making of Pink Lemonade Cold Press Soap. Please stay tuned for the cutting. Hi, everybody. We're back to go ahead and cut this Pink Lemonade Soap, and this is how it turned out. I thought it set up really nicely. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside. Right. 
Isn't that cute? I like how that glycerin um, confetti looks like drops of lemonade. Super cute. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video.